Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I've finally gotten a Red Dead stream going. Now, there is a little bit of a problem with this. Uh, so, for some reason, I don't understand why and I don't know how to fix it. I would appreciate if there were comments on it, but I don't have a very large viewer fan base, so no one could help me. However, so my screen is stuck on like a 1280 by 720 aspect ratio. In fact, uh, I can, eh, no, it's on 1920 by 1080 or whatever, but it's, it, it takes up about like half of my screen and it's in the direct middle, which means it's really hard to see everything. You know, you know how it is. So, this is going to be really small. Whatever. Oh, that was a voice crack. That didn't need to happen. Now, I guess I, since, just cause, I'll show off my stuff real quick. Um, the shotgun. Here. Of course I'm in Lagra. Lagra. But... Shotgun coat. I always liked my uh, gold. I always like my gold guns. Look at that beauty. Now look at this beauty. Yup, my Schofield revolvers. Fucking love those babies. My cattleman revolver is obviously going to be the the prettiest. Uh, any of you that play Red Dead know what the Flacco's revolver looks like, but... Same style, just a big long gun. <laughs> this one I think is better than the other one. I like gold, but I like this one. It looks better to me. It just does. It might be brown steel instead of blackened or blued, I don't know. Um, however, I recently customized the uh, double action revolvers. They feel a lot better to use on PC than on uh, PS4, which is what I was using before. I was trying to get low honor so I could get the uh, gunslinger grip, but you know, I don't know, there's something stopping that from happening. And this is the other one. Kind of like a silver, it's kind of like a tan metal but then the cylinder is gold or brass or whatever yeah it's interesting to me but yeah now of course I've got the pure gold fucking sawed off just oh it's dirty I'm gonna clean it I know any of you that saw that the other weapons needed cleaning too but it was so minute I didn't really need to do it yet so now I can give you the rest of the outfits this is my like Santa knee outfit. Got a tie, got a nice button up Legion vest. I might get the Paisley vest instead. Uh, this is just basically the brawler's outfit, but with the Legion vest on over it, so I don't look like a complete hobo. You know the classic gunslinger. I'm actually gonna go hobo. Um. Oh my god. And yes, this is a Shire horse. You don't know how long and how upset I was when I found out about the... Alright, what the... F uh, yeah, that's what I'm asking. I'm trying to fast travel, bro. When I found out about cinematic camera acting as like a an autopilot thing. Oh my god, that made things so much easier. I was like, oh, fuck. What's I just, what do you, um, Jeez. can I just kick him? You gotta. You gotta. Fine, I'll help you up. I'm not taking you to San Denis, though. Fuck that. I'm gonna drown your bitch ass. Yes, I'm gonna be a bad person. Oh, I'm gonna do something. You're gonna drown, boy. You're not drowning fast enough, boy. Boy! 
Oh, um, uh, well, there's something about your entire arm being bloody that might have to do with it. Sleep well. Yeah, as I said, I'm trying to get the least honor possible in this. Oh my god, the stalker hat just looks so good. Yeah, no, but when I found out about the uh, fast travel thing, oh my god, I was so pissed because I just spent hours upon hours of just um, spamming, oh, what was the button, uh, X on the PlayStation controller to go faster. I mean, I could do that here, but like, <laughs> this is just so much easier. I can go away, I can look at my phone, and since I figured out how to stream, even though it's in a small ass aspect ratio, I can talk without having to worry about, oh, I'm getting shot. Oh no, someone's beating the shit out of me. Oh man, that sucks, blah, 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 blah. Oh well, I realized I was close enough that I didn't really need to do it. Can I help you there? Yeah, sure. supposed to be my business partners here. Hey, hey. to me, I believe, about all the horses. Why do you sound so racist about it, bro? So sincere, Arthur. You don't give a fuck, I know. I know he don't care. And again, I guess back then, people didn't... People were expected to be a lot more polite than they are now. Or else they might get their ass beat, you know? You. That was smart. You turn up in this town, and you're helping everybody. And everywhere, there's trouble. Who are you? Like I said. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Arthur oh, Callahan, right. Arthur Lots Morgan, that, that was a problem. They inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? His beard looks nice. Arthur's. Not, not gold, that losers. Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaite's? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. Where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Well, over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. How much do you keep want us for away it? away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse rustling away from the public. Yeah, that's a fair point. That's where they keep Yeah, that, that's that's really sketch. Ah, yes. I'm trying not to talk over them, but they're not talking at all. So you, you gonna? There you go. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. Haven't seen them? No, not yet. They're there already. They better keep their heads down. You don't need this to be any more complicated. Spoiler alert, than it by the way. Is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. Yeah, no horses worth five thousand dollars, not eighteen ninety nine. Place is well guarded. 
There ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed <laughs> men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. John should have gotten freaking clipped in the head by that. You saw that? Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. My partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Hmm. Okay, then. Let's head on up to the that, stables. I realize how many mistakes were made here. First of all, that guard has probably seen me here before. And, uh, Mrs. Braithwaite probably should have told him that it was Mrs. Braithwaite. Wait, no, he probably did that on purpose. He, Arthur had mentioned that before. I don't know, man. I'm not gonna get too deep into it. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. I mean, it kind of sucks that you're just cutting through their yard, you know. It's not very polite. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. Got some beans or peaches. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the stuff Hey, what the fuck? For purchase or what you trying to do, John? That's what you're interested in? What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. That's so. Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Oh. oh boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. A uh hot -huh. greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. <laughs> Relax, boy. Come on. Good hey, boy. Easy. I was gonna get the Arabian. This actually might be the Arabian. No, it's it's a male. Tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Easy there, easy. Take it easy there. That's it, boy. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we we'll regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What this is gonna doing? be a problem. Let's go quick. Get going, you two. I what the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We'll be Oh, wow, it gave me the gun I wanted to use, too. Oh, oh, yeah. What the fuck are y'all shooting? Oh. Piss nuggets. Oh, that's a gate. Shooting on horseback is really difficult. It probably is in real life, too. 
Block this douchebag. No, get up, get up there, dumbass. No, go, 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 motherfucker, go. All the horses jump. I think we lost him. You think? You better be damn sure. Because you know, that's a bullet in the back, otherwise, right? See? I definitely did not hit that, but okay. I'll take it. I think I killed the whore. No, I didn't. I'm not that cruel, I guess. No? Don't think so. Alright. Whoa! You okay there, boy? Shit! One of the step audience is loose! Keep going! I'll get him! There we go. Get your ass back here. Oh, convenient. Hey, Over here. Get out of my way, horsey. Raymond's Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over. Yeah, we ain't gonna get five thousand dollars for Jack. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Come on now. You're not gonna get a gravestone. You think they look like they're paying five thousand for horses? Yes, we'll see. Come here. Come here. What you boys want? Yo, mama. Heard you was, uh... Heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. Okay. So, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 650 for them. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for him. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it? Or you want to ride them fellers into town and maybe someone there will hang you? We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Leave a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagine we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. As usual, right? 
What about my share? 120. How much does that put me at? Oh shit! I had two thousand dollars left in the bank heist. Oh, well that's interesting. Sorry about that. Oh, tab isn't map. Duh. My bad. It's M. I'm gonna shave a bit. Morning, Arthur. Screw you, Micah. You gonna get out there and make some money? You got such a chip on your shoulder, don't you? You need to watch your damn. You got such a chip on. Your... Hmm. I'm gonna rest a couple days and uh, use the uh, hair tonic. Go go go! I'm gonna sleep. Uh, I should go to sleep. Me too. Oh, hi, Jack. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. It's yours now. I, I always like that that jingle. Boom, bam, boom, bam, bam. Oh God, stop giving me that lost puppy look. So, you're speaking to me at least. Uh, it is always about your needs, isn't it? You're a terrible dude, Dutch. A woman with so many needs. You don't know the first thing about a woman's needs. Ooh! Are you Get even fucking aware roasted. Of the price on my head? The pressures I'm under? If you'd only talk to me, I could help. I she makes help a point. Dutch, but there's this wall. You can help by leaving me alone so I can actually think for once. You're a, You're a douche. Don't yeah. She coming out? I'm coming in. Hey, Dutch. Fuck, I can't go in. Damn. Can I spy? Hey, Dutch. Uh, oh, oh, I moved the curtain. Not curtain the tent. You know what I mean. I'm coming for you, Dutch. I'm gonna get you some more money, Dutch. <laughs> yeah, no. It's funny. One time I had up to like five thousand dollars. I don't remember how I collected it, but I had like five thousand dollars. Actually, no. I used to cheat. Got like a million and put it in the fucking box and I'm like is that enough for you Dutch that enough money for you Dutch oh, it's just not enough oh perfect looks good ah uh, phone I don't care if only that was how that worked you just go to sleep and wake up with a full beard that'd be nice Are you busy, Arthur? Always, but yes. Why? What? No. Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words, uh -huh. not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've, I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, I would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it...